All right, so our flower is done, and now we're gonna work on our leaves. The leaves are gonna be a very similar thing to the petals. We're gonna do it in green, and then we're gonna add some yellow highlights. So you just fill it in. Remember, no clumps and bumps. Spread it out. If you have wet red next to the green and it drags in, it's actually not a bad thing. It can add a little bit of shade, shading down there because red and green make a natural shading color. Just like the blue and the red, they're opposite on the color wheel. Next to each other, they look really good, but mixed together, they make a brown. So if we fill it in, then with the dirty brush with the green on it already, we're gonna take the yellow and toss that in there. I like to drag it on one side. You can do it on both sides. It's not necessary, but you can. So just like the um, the red and the blue and the, and the greens, if you mix them together, they do make the browns. I'm gonna add a little bit of red and blue to my green and really give it a, a shaded edge. And drag that in. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the leaves. I've got three more here, and then I have a few up high. So we'll fill those in. But before I do that, I wanna show you how to do the little flowers at the top. I'm gonna to call them little poppies. I'm not quite sure what they are. They're, they're more made up than anything. I'm gonna use the red again, but this time I'm gonna take some red, dip it in my white, so they're both on my brush. I'm gonna set it on my canvas and I'm just going to spin it and swirl it in. And that's going to give me a little bit of a, um, a blended swirl. I don't think there's enough white in there, so I'm gonna take a little more white and swirl that. Try not to blend it too much. You want some of those lines to show. So I'll show you one more time. Little red, little white on the same brush. Put it on the outside and swirl it. If you don't have enough white, touch some more white in there and swirl it again. Okay, so go ahead and do your circles and your leaves and we'll catch back up in just a sec. Okay, the next step, I'm going to start with the flowers and the eyes. I wanna do an orange. So once again, take some red and some yellow, mix them on the side and I'm gonna fill in my petals. I'll we'll fill them in nice and solid. And then if you go out the lines, it's okay because we're going to surround it with black. Black is very opaque, so it'll cover up anything that goes outside. Now obviously if you go really outside the lines, you're going to want to correct that with a, a clean brush and some water. We'll clean it off. Um, but, you know, if you get it into the little sides right here, it's okay. So, I'm going to fill in those petals. I'm going to fill in this side as well. We'll do the centers. The sample has white. I don't like the white. I mean, honestly, I think the skull is white enough. I don't like to add too many white details except for, like, little white polka dots. Try and paint the edges as well, like your petals will be coming off the edge. So paint them coming off the edge. Okay, clean off your brush. Let's see, what color should be in the centers? I think I want to do a purple. In order to make a purple, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, mix them up. So I'm going to do a little purple circle in the center. And then another one over here. Okay, clean my brush. Dry it gently. And I'm gonna come to my nose. For my nose, I want a pink little heart in the center. So in that center, I'm just going to fill just like this. All right. 
Okay, so I put the little pink in the center of the nose, and now I want to do the little flower on the side of the face. I'm just going to do a solid yellow, fill it in. I know it looks a little elementary right now, but we're going to be outlining a lot of this and adding fine details. So even if it's just a one solid color flower or uh, teeth or whatever, um, it's okay because we're going to add more to it as we go. I'm going to add a little bit of red to my already yellowed brush, and that's going to make a little um, orange, orangish red center right there. All right, let's clean off the brush real well. I think for this bottom flower, I'm really getting over the red and the orange. There's a whole lot of it in the picture, and I know the sample has orange, but I'm, I'm just kind of over it. So I think I'm going to do a green flower. There's not a lot of green on the face, so I think by adding, well, first of all, a very oddly colored flower because you don't see very many green flowers, but putting some green on the face is just going to make it pop a little bit more. Now this is on solid white, so you do need to be a little more mindful of your brush strokes. Try not to mess up uh, by going out of the lines. If you go out of the lines, I want to show you a trick. Let's pretend, oops, I went out the lines. What you want to do is you want to clean off your brush real well, drag it up the side of your bucket, don't dry it off, come to the green that you've gone outside with that wet brush and re-wet it. Then you're going to take a napkin, like the very tip, and just wipe it off. Now it might not get every little bit of it off, but it'll get the majority off, and then you can just touch it up with a little bit of white paint. So I'll come in here, I'll take some white, and then just cover that up. I mean, the main thing when you're working with canvas is when you mess up and you paint it white, you bring, you're bringing it back to the canvas color. So if you mess up, turn it back into a white canvas again. I recycle canvases a lot just by painting them white. All right, so I've got that going on there. I think I'm going to do the center of this flower just a light green. So I'm just going to touch a little bit of white in my dirty green brush. And there we go. I'm going to do the blue around the teeth. But I don't want the same blue here. I want more of a turquoise. So I'm going to take some white, a little more white than that. I'm going to take a little blue. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. I'm going to mix them up. A little more white and a little more blue. It's not quite a turquoise. It's actually, it's a little muddied, but it's still a pretty color. So I'm going to go around my teeth. Outline them. Try and, and stay pretty accurate in your lines. If you go outside of them a little bit, it's okay. We are going to be outlining it with the permanent marker. And of course, I don't have enough paint on my brush. I'm not pushing down too hard with my bristles and that's causing them to have nice fine lines. If I push down and fanned them out, they would give you big, fat, chunky lines. And this is not a part where you want big, fat, chunky lines. So up and around, up and around. And this is why you want to take care of your brushes so you have a nice, fine point when you want to paint. All right, so we're going to come around, finish up above the teeth, and then it'll be time for a few fine details. Okay. Clean off my brush. And if you look in the sample, there's lots of little, um, little teardrops and fans and things like that. So let's go ahead and add some of those before we do our black. So I'm going to do blue. Pick any color you want. I'm going to turn my canvas upside down. 
I'm going to put my brush with that nice loaded blue on there in the center line, push down. I'm going to drag up and lift at the same time. Do it again. Push it down, drag up and lift at the same time. I'm going to do that all the way around on both sides. Try and make it even. And then you've got this pretty little floral decoration. I'm going to do that again down low. I'll put one right here. This is where I kind of veer off of the sample. I like to just go with with the design. Sometimes your paint flows nicely and you want to throw in more and more details and sometimes it doesn't. If your paint is real thick, do not use it. Water it down or get a fresh paint, but thick paint that's chunky and dried out is not going to give you a, a good picture. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my brush and we're going to do a little bit of green. So I'm going to tap my green and I'm going to do similar flowers like we did up at the top and the bottom, but just with the green and wherever I feel like putting it, honestly. This is where you can just go to town. Have some fun with it. I'm going to add a little bit of red, a couple little details. Clean off my brush. And now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to switch to another um, video for the black details. So go ahead and pour your black onto your uh, palette and we're going to switch over to the next video and we'll do our fine uh, features after.